Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lex Thomas 21 and I'm back for another quick video for you guys. This is my Blu-ray update video for February and March. I don't think I did a Blu-ray update last month, so here goes the Blu-ray update that I'm doing for February and March. Uh, I know March is still going on, I know it's the beginning of March, but I've also bought, bought some Blu-rays in this month, so I'm not counting the ones that I, I'm counting the ones that I did buy this month in this video. I know it's kind of confusing, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm ready to get into it. I bought a lot of Blu-rays so far last month and this month, so go. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's get it. Let's go. First, starting off, I want to show the uh, Disney, my Disney Movie Club, and some Disney movies I bought in the beginning of the month as well. Starting off with. Pinocchio. Uh, this was released, I think, last month, I think. Uh, but it, um, it's the special digi book from Target. I wanted to get the Beauty and the Beast one like this, but I couldn't get it because it was sold out. So um, yeah, but this one comes like with a special like book from the movie, like it shows the um, you know the story of Pinocchio, basically the movie in a book. Uh, yeah, and this is I really wanted to get this. I wanted to get the Beauty and the Beast version, but I couldn't get it. So but here you go, Pinocchio. It looks really good on Blu-ray as well for it to be the Asian it is. So. Pinocchio. Pete's Dragon, the live action and the animated version. It was like a special double pack for um, Disney Movie Club. I just said, fuck it, I'll get both of them because I don't own them at all. So, um, Pete's Dragon. Cinderella, the live action version that came out, I think like 2014, I think. I think it came out 2014. I know I didn't see it. I have, still have not seen it, actually. But I bought it because Beauty and the Beast is coming out. So that's why I picked it up. I'm trying to get all the live action Disney movie that they're making, so Cinderella. The Polar Express. I know this is not a Disney movie, but it's also animated. But it's a uh, to me, it's a Christmas classic. Um, I think a lot of people need this more, see this more, and talk about it more. Um, the animation is pretty good, and Robin's Max did an amazing job directing it. Um, yeah, um, Polar Express. Next, we're gonna show the horror pack that I got last month. Um, it came with some decent looking movies. Um, starting off with Minutes Past Midnight. It's a horror pack exclusive. Um, I read the synopsis. It's pretty. Look, it sounds pretty okay. All cheerleaders die. Some random straight to DVD type shit. I don't know what it is. So um, it don't look that interesting. So I probably won't watch it. So yeah, all cheerleaders die. The Mother. I've never heard this as well. I guess it's another straight to DVD type film. So um, yeah, really looking forward to see that as well. The Collector. Um, I've always wanted to see this movie, never got that opportunity to, but I had now I own it, now I can watch it now. Um, yeah, The Collector. Orphan, Insidious 1 and 2. I need to get Insidious 3, but I'll probably buy that in the future. I really wasn't a fan of Insidious 3, so that's why I haven't bought it yet, but I had to get these two because I, I needed to own them on Blu-ray. So, Insidious 1 and 2. The Crazies, um, yeah, uh, I remember seeing this movie for the first time. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was very predictable, but I got it some kick out of it. It was entertaining, um, you know. So the crazies. Tropic Thunder. I've never seen this movie before, but I heard it was hilarious. I heard Robert Downey Jr. steals the movie. So um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm really, really looking forward to watching this. Tropic Thunder. Next we have a, a '80s classic, Beverly Beverly Hills Cop. I don't own the other two on Blu-ray, I probably won't buy them, but this one is very nostalgic to me. I really love this movie. This, this is my favorite out of the trilogy. So, um, the first Beverly Hills Cop. 40-year-old version. Um, my goal was to own all the Jude Apatow directed comedies. I'm doing pretty well. I have all the good ones already, and this is the one I need to add to my collection. I just haven't picked it up yet. So, 40-year-old version. The Water Boy. Adam Sandler at his peak, in my opinion. Um, I think he did the wedding singer before this, but this is where he was really trying. He really showed his um, his um, comedy chops, in my opinion. Um, I need to get Mr. D, Big Daddy. I need to get those as well. But this is one in, in one of my favorites as well. The Water Boy. Bring it on. Um, it's crazy to think Gabrielle Union was in this movie. Um, but uh, yeah, this is another. Uh, this is comedy that I say everyone should watch, in my opinion. Uh, it's not just for girls, it's also for guys as well. We get a kick out of this too. Um, bring it on. The Last Action Hero. This movie is really bad. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're really bad in this movie. Um, but I'm a sucker for Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, so I had to pick it up. It was only like five bucks at buyback, so I couldn't pass it up. The Last Action Hero. Elysium, Matt Damon. I, I've never seen this movie before. Um, I heard it was okay. Um, 
it wasn't better than District 9, so I don't know what to say. Um, I heard it. Okay, that's why I just picked that. Like I said, it was only five bucks at buyback, so I'll say F it, you know, at least. Next, we have a double feature. We have Unknown and Edge of Darkness. I've never seen any two of these films, but they look pretty interesting. I like Mel Gibson. I like Liam Neeson, so what, what the hell? Um, Unknown and Edge of Darkness. Speaking of Mel Gibson, we have... Hacksaw Ridge, he, uh, his director, uh, another film that he directed, starring Andrew Garfield. I heard it was really good, so that's why I picked it up. I'm a fan of both of those actors. I'm a fan of Mel Gibson, so Hacksaw Ridge. Doctor Strange, the steelbook from Best Buy, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Um, I really like this steelbook, man. I enjoy Doctor Strange. I think Benedict Cumberbatch killed it as Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, man, the Marvels know what they need to do. They know what they're doing with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I'm really excited for the future of the MCU. Here we have Doctor Strange. And that ends it for the Blu-ray update for February and March. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please slap the like button. Please subscribe for more. Let me know if you guys collect Blu-rays in the comment section below. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace.